That's what billionaires do, not what the millionaire next door does. I'm driving down the road and um, I just, you know, I check my Twitter while I'm driving or, or where I'm at red lights. And, you know, I came across this post and it was like, oh, the, you know, has anybody read this book? I guess they were looking to see if it was a good book or not. The Millionaire Next Door. And he just initially, I was like, no, it's a terrible book. Um, you know, it's just basically the exact same thing that every CFP, the, every financial advisor will tell you. You know, don't spend a lot, pay off all of your debt, live below your means, buy a shitty house, live in a shitty house, pay it off, and then, you know, sort of retire. And a lot of these points, the point of this, a lot of these places will say to you that the majority of all millionaires become millionaires due to real estate, mainly that they buy a piece of property and then over a course of 30 years, they pay that off. That property goes up in equity and then they put a little bit away into like an IRA or 401k and boom, they become like this sort of magical, you know, million millionaire number. Um, and somehow that's fantastic. If, if, you know, living in, in and getting a Ford Taurus and, you know, living off, you know, like pennies and living in a shitty house and all of that was the best way. Um, yes, you're correct that most millionaires that are currently out there today get there by that direction. My question is, how do the billionaires get there? And if when you ask that question, you'll find that it billionaires do not, do not get to that status through uh, their primary residence. They do other things that actually allows them to create generational wealth. That's what you want to learn. If you just wanted to, you know, live comfortably at the age of 65 and you just don't want to like, you know, struggle your entire life. Well, that's simple. Just when you make money, save a little bit of it, throw it in an index fund. Don't live beyond your means and go live your life. You don't need to buy a book. I just solved the entire problem with for you. And I probably just summarized most of the books that are out there. However, if you want to create generational wealth, I'm not talking about a million dollars that you can then draw 4% on and live off social security and part of that and go sit on a downsized condo on a beach somewhere. Generational wealth where you can drive a Ferrari, a Bugatti, whatever you want to drive that you can live or have places or, or uh, all across the world that you can go to London, you can go to Japan, you can go to, um, you know, where, wherever, and that you own properties all around the world. And you can just go kind of stay there for three or four months at a time, or maybe you don't own them and you just rent when you're out there, that you can go and eat and do whatever you want to, that your life later on down the road is better. That's what billionaires do, not what the millionaire next door does.